everyone, and welcome to our second bi-weekly stream for NASA FarmCraft 2021. Um, just two weeks ago, we announced our special program that we have coming forward where we will have this exciting Minecraft world where students will be able to explore different roles um, that interact with agriculture and farming and create different farms and different biomes. So this is our second bi-weekly stream and I'm really excited to bring in our co-hosts and guests for today. So to hop right into it, I'm gonna bring in uh, Kathy Chow Isaacs and Eric Leitner, who are, who are our superb global Minecraft educators, mentors, um, and truly some of the greatest people I've had to work with in creating impactful Minecraft programs for students and, and bringing in that little esports flair. So um, I'll, I'll let, let you two talk a little bit about yourselves for those who are just joining us for the first time. All right, I'm gonna start. How's that? You go, you go ahead, okay. you start. Thank you, thank you. Hi everyone, <laughs> my name is Kathy Chow Isaacs and as Sam said, I'm a global Minecraft mentor. I am also, um, as of recently, a middle school and high school game design teacher, which I'm super excited about. I just started a couple of weeks ago and it has been awesome. So if any of my students from Whams or Ridge are watching. Hello there. Um, so what I have been doing, what I've been up to is, um, oh my goodness, what haven't I been up to? But I am a, uh, a what do I do? A Minecraft trainer. So I work with teachers um, to bring Minecraft into their classrooms. And uh, that has been really, really wonderful as an experience. And one of the districts that I've worked with is Eric's district in Broward County, Florida. So with that, I'm gonna hand it off to my friend, Eric. And, and Kathy, you know, you will always be one of us here in Broward County, Florida. I think every teacher in Broward knows you and loves you. Mm -hmm. So you have a home in Broward. Uh, I am Eric Leitner. I'm a STEM and computer science instructional facilitator for the Broward County Public School District. We are a big district, sixth largest in the U.S., serving 270,000 students, 235 plus schools. So it's a monumental task, but uh, we do have Minecraft education available at all of those schools. So it is a, a passion that is growing and growing and growing, and we love it. Um, I am also, like Kathy, a global Minecraft mentor for Minecraft Education Edition, uh, and I help um, on the leadership team of Florida Scholastic Esports League. So lots of hats, tons of hats, uh, but we love it, and uh, we're excited about this, right? The, these, these programs are always fun. It's great to be with such uh, an exciting group, uh, and I love bringing all various minds together to work on these things, so I'm excited. And so speaking of bringing various minds together, uh, FarmCraft has really been put on um, with a lot of different partners, including the U.S. Department of State. So I'm really excited to bring in our next guest, Dr. Kate Furby, who is a AAAS, so the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which I do want us to get into just um, a little bit more about that association and why they're important in the U.S., um, and so you're a technology policy fellow for the US Department of State. And this is one of your first times playing Minecraft. So what brings you to the Farmcraft world and what are you most excited about? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, I'm excited slash nervous to be here today. Um, so this, this program that we're working on is something that um, we somehow invented um, with our partners in agriculture policy. Um, so as a fellow, I get to work with a lot of other fellows at the State Department. And back when we could sit down and have coffee, Adam from the last bi-weekly bi -weekly stream and I sat down and sort of hatched this idea. Um, and then we got uh, other friends at the State Department involved and they helped us bring in you guys. Um, so we somehow I feel like have helped build this program with very little knowledge of the actual video game. So basically here today to learn about how to play the game. Um, I can talk more about the program too if you want. No, I, I think we wanna hear more about you. And um, so this is the, maybe one of the first times Minecraft specifically is being used, but what are some of the other topics that you usually uh, speak about or what kind of roles have you 
connected with students maybe or teachers in, in the States? Yeah, so before I was a fellow um, at the State Department, I was um, a filmmaker. And then before that, I was a scientist. So I got my PhD in marine biology and coral reef uh, ecology specifically, which is why we picked this world today. And I'm pretty excited to dive into it. Um, and then while I've been here at the State Department, um, I'm part of a small team called the Collaboratory which pilots and shares innovative programming, working with um, offices in our bureau, which is called Educational and Cultural Affairs, which is like the group that does the Fulbright program and a bunch of government exchange programs. Um, and then we also work with US embassies around the world. And hopefully we have a bunch of them logged in to watch us today. So for those that are in the chat joining us live right now, you can probably tell I'm with a superstar lineup, which is why they're all dressed very savvy in their lab coats here in our uh, farm craft world. Um, but we also are presenting our preseason challenges. And so I'm actually gonna hand it over to Eric, who's gonna kind of show, well, first I'll, I'll kind of talk a little bit about where to find the preseason challenges. Um, and then I'll hand it over to Eric, who will actually show us inside Flipgrid how you can uh, participate in the challenges and also see the other students that are participating and be able to kind of interact with other farmers in our Minecraft world. Um, so actually, if I can get the permissions to share my screen. Um, so I think Eric, you mean. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm totally hogging the screen right now. Let me do that. <laughs> okay, all yours. Thank you. And I should... Um, not expose myself for having my screen zoomed in very, very intensely when I work. <laughs> okay. Share screen. Great. I think everyone can see my screen. So if you hop on to nasef.org slash farmcraft, that is where we post all of the information and uh, challenges related to Farmcraft. So if you are already registered, welcome to the global community. I wish I had a, a list of the amount of countries in my back pocket right now that we have, but we have over uh, 10 um, countries already signed up to be participating across the world. So um, if you haven't already, please check out the team registration guide, which is this blue button right here. And this is actually going to show you everything from start to finish with what you need for registration, including how you can get your Minecraft education licenses. So um, if you are putting a team together and your school or your organization does not have Minecraft licenses where the students are able to collaborate with one another, specifically Minecraft education edition, then you are able to include that in your registration so that you are able to get logins for your teammates. Um, but today we're talking about preseason. So already we do have the preseason challenge PDF live on the website as well. But if you also scroll down to the preseason section, and these are the key dates for preseason. So we launch a new challenge every two weeks and then they're due about a week and a half after they go live. And then every stream following that, we're gonna be featuring some of the really cool, innovative submissions that have come in from the challenge prior. So once you click on the preseason challenges, it'll take you to the PDF. And this is the PDF guide for the challenges. But um, if you actually head on over to Flipgrid, which the link is sent directly to you as you register your team, um, when you do have it hop into Flipgrid, uh, that is where you are able to see the challenge information again, but then also actually go through and submit on behalf of your team. Should I, is there anything else I should cover before I hand over the, the wheel? Uh, unless there's anything that you want to recover for registration, I think we're pretty good. Okay, great. Okay, so I guess I oh, will yeah, share so, screen oh. again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I guess I could have. Um... You know, as, as well, as one of our <laughs> favorite streamers and I won't name drop him here always says, streaming is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I bet you Kathy knows who I'm talking about. Oh, but I know that's exactly okay. who you're talking about. Of course about. you do. Of course you do. So inside jokes, right? We're going to have a few mm -hmm. of those. That's okay. <laughs> um, so 
uh, I'm going to bring up my game screen again. And, and as you can see in this world right now, uh, myself, Kathy, Sam, and Kate are all in here um, and all uh, going to work together a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and actually sort of announce right now uh, what that first preseason challenge is. And I will admit, most in many of our other competitions that we've done with NACEF, the preseason challenges have been to be honest, somewhat complex, or they've been very, very focused, like extremely very specific, very focused. Uh, we wanted to change that up a little bit to start this program, and we kind of wanted to just let everyone do their thing. So the very first challenge is to give us your example, and you'll see the details in, in just a second, but to generalize it is to give us your example of a farm. This is Farmcraft. Show us how you farm uh, in Minecraft whether that's in survival mode, whether that's in creative mode, uh, whatever biome you choose, whatever world you choose, you're gonna show us your example. Be as creative as you'd like to be, but we should see uh, obviously a farm in there, right? So that's our goal. So since we've got uh, Dr. Kate Furby with us today, we chose uh, a warm ocean biome because this, if I'm not mistaken, is your area of expertise. <laughs> Our and you are in here with that. us right now. Yes, I'm really excited to get underwater. It's been a long You're time. Really, well, no one's forcing you to stay on our little, very sad, deserted island, which, to be <laughs> honest, probably doesn't have a lot of room for farming. So that's a challenge we're taking on right now. So we can dive into the water. And, and my question to you would be, uh, how accurately does uh, Minecraft represent a coral reef? Um, I mean, uh, so I'm, we're gonna we're gonna hop in here. It's a little blocky, right. I admit. Yeah, just don't worry about it, Kate. You won't. You'll you'll be fine. We're in creative mode, so. Am I gonna sing? Oh, I'm singing. No, you'll you sing. Will. You'll sing, but you won't. Uh, you'll you'll be fine. Oh, so this here's yes. the coral. No breathing coral. required. Yes, no <laughs> scuba gear. No required. scuba gear necessary. Oh my gosh, I love it. You love it. See, that's that's what you want to hear. I bet the Minecraft team would be happy to hear that. There is a dolphin swimming out there. <laughs> Pretty far away, though. <laughs> Hopefully it comes back. Oh, I keep going up. I want to just go forward. Yeah. yeah. So so Kathy and I had this thought. Kathy, what was our thought for farming here since our island is tiny? Okay, so we were thinking that we would farm underground. So we would build some kind of structure that would allow us to clear the water out, uh, almost like we were in an aquarium, but with no water. <laughs> So, so we so want a reverse, really an a reverse aquarium, <laughs> a reverse aquarium, a people aquarium, if you will. Oh, oh, like, oh, like we were Sandy Here. SpongeBob. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're going with the Sandy route, right? So, SpongeBob references today. Good news. <laughs> uh, we don't have any memes to throw up on the screen because oh, there'd be plenty of music, them. <laughs> um, but I was thinking we probably, if we're going to make considerations of uh, the environment here that we're in. Um, oh, there are the dolphins. Hi, dolphins. Oh, um, um, ooh, there's a oh. cool trench here too. Very nice. Uh, but if we wanted to build, we may not want to build right on the reef. I, I don't know that that would be good for the health of the reef. No, so we'll have to get yeah. out there. I'm getting a little, believe it or not, I'm getting a little seasick. <laughs> You're getting, a, the bobbing is getting <laughs> to you. Okay. <laughs> Well, here's a tip for all those folks who want to do an underwater anything. Uh, if you are in creative and you switch to flying, you stop bobbing. Oh, so if you double right. tap that space bar and you oh, shift the space goodness. to go up and down, right. no more bobbing. Ooh, that is better. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one of the things they do in the, in the ocean biomes that I like is if we're in the warm ocean biome, and if you fly up, you'll see this. I'm going to fly up. You can see the shallow water is represented by a nice light blue color, which seems pretty accurate. And then of course, if we are looking for deeper water, all we have to do, and somebody got it because they ran right off, uh, is, <laughs> is look for the darker blue. Kathy was already running in that direction. I see it, I see it. I was all excited because- Yeah, I and sure enough, if we go under over here where it's darker, Reserve. we've got deeper water and because deeper water, well, let me ask, uh, Kate, why would there be less coral in these deeper environments? Because that's what Minecraft is doing here. I wonder if that's accurate. Oh, well, yeah, there's, I mean, there's less light. So uh, maybe just to make sure we're all on the same page about what a coral is. Um, when I was a coral scientist, I used to be like, if I studied fish, I would just say, I study fish. And you'd be like, yeah, it's an animal. I got it. 
but I studied <laughs> coral, which is like an animal with a plant that lives inside of it that builds a rock. Um, so because the coral has this symbiotic relationship with um, a tiny algae, it actually can get energy from the sun and the algae will share the energy with the coral. So there's light limitations to where the corals can live. That it makes cool. perfect sense. And that totally adds up with why there would be less coral or even no coral in these deeper waters. Well, there I, are, there are deep water are there, corals. There are, because okay. I, I had everything to, I had to make the assumption that it has everything to do with light penetration, right? The light can only penetrate so far. So if they're dependent on uh, that symbiotic relationship with a plant that is, you know, doing photosynthesis, then that's not happening as much in the deeper waters. There are, they're less common and they're also like just completely different species. So the deep water corals are like specially adapted to the dark. They grow really, really slowly. So like a lot, so like, um, you know, they don't even have to be that big and they can be like a hundred years old because wow. there's just not a lot. Um, it's really hard for them to get energy and live that deep. So they just sort of, everything they do is done much more slowly than the corals we think of like up here where there's a lot of light. That makes total sense. So, so then how, how do they get their light? How do they, um, how do they produce their food? So, so I said that they were an animal with this tiny plant that lives with them. So um, they're actually able to get energy two ways. One is from light, but the other is they are able to feed. So um, if you look up close, actually, you can even see this in Minecraft. Can like you really? All right, hold on. Let me get to some coral on screen here. Let's or find one. these big colorful blocks mm -hmm. that they're sitting on. Uh, the purple one. Oh, this right. blue one too. It yeah, has I was like looking at the blue one, purple. but this pink one and the purple ones are pretty good too. The, the blue one, oh, you're right. It's very clear. Okay, I'm going to look right at the blue one. All right. It has those little circles on it. So that's, Minecraft is so, so I'm so impressed because it. <laughs> those are what we call those polyps. Um, they're kind of like little upside down jellyfish. They have tentacles and a mouth and they can actually grab particles from the water and feed on them and get energy that way. So this is not one animal when I see a coral. This is like millions of animals in a group. Yeah, they're, uh, we call it a colony. So they all live together and they all um, share uh, energy and they share a home because they're building if you were to cut that open, not that we would ever do that, but if you were to do that, it's rock inside. Um, so mm -hmm. that's just the thin layer on the surface is all these little coral polyps living together. I, I love that we can literally just look around in Minecraft and get a science lesson out of it without actually having okay. to do anything in Minecraft. <laughs> but we're going to do some stuff in Minecraft. So I'm going to find my way out to the deeper water and uh, Kathy, what do you? Th how big a, a cube or dome do we want here underwater? Oh, is my question. I don't know. Well, I'm going to try to find you. I don't see you. You, you can teleport over to me if you want. In fact, I can teleport everyone here if you want. I teleport. Um, oh, me, myself. Teleport myself to Eric. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna just tell everyone to do it to me oh, like, you're, and you're send total, everyone oh, here. I'm on top of it, like you're so Yes, deep there you go. Far. We're all here now. So it's <laughs> deeper here. It's not too deep that it's totally dark, uh, but I think this is a good spot. So should we? I was gonna fill command some glass to make like a bubble under our water here to start okay. with. That sounds but good. But I need, I need dimensions. You need dimensions. I would say let's go for, like we don't wanna make it too big because then we won't be able to farm that much. Why don't we say, you know, like, well, it'll only seem like a tiny farm. Why don't we do, mm -hmm. what do you think? 40 by 40? Well, that's not cubes? tiny, that's huge. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe 30 I mean, by 30 cubes. Do you want to see what that looks like? I think we should just do it oh, and yeah, see what just happens. Just do it. Just Let's do experiment. It. All right. So for those who don't know fill commands, right? So Kate is new to Minecraft for fill commands. If we press slash on our keyboard, it brings up the chat bar if you're an operator. Uh, I'm sharing this on my screen, so hopefully you can see it. Uh, I would ask you maybe, Kate, to not do it right here next to us because then we'll have things that happen overlapping and it'll just cause chaos and it'll be fun. But, you know, maybe you that's not her goal. Eric? Right. So... Rather than using my current X, Y, Z coordinates, I figure I can use my relative position by just doing the tilde, tilde, tilde. So that's going to give you that my current X, Y, Z. And then we'll just add the values to those positions. So okay. we've got our X, Y, Z with the tildes. And then you want, we don't need to make it as tall, right? But we want to make it long. So like yeah. 30 by 
10 by 10 or 20 by 30 by 20 by 10? 30 by 20 by 10. Let's do All that. Right, so we're going to do okay. 30 long, right? We're going to do. Wait. You need to say what you want to fill it with. Oh, that's that's coming up. All right. Oh, that's, wait, that's two, after, two. Is, I'm not. Right, I'm we're not, going to this. But you're going to need a. Uh, all right. I'm just not. I'm, okay. You're good. So many, next is blurred. Y. Next is our Y coordinate. So that's up. We said 10 high. 10. Mm -hmm. And then wide, we said 20. 20. I have yep. no idea in what direction this is going to go. And I kind of like that. I'm going to see what chaos well, it ensues. Matter this time. That's right. So we are going to make it glass. This is where we identify the block. I'm going to say zero. So that number identifies which type of glass we want. And so if we wanted to change the color or anything, it would be a different number value. We're going to go with clear because, <laughs> you know, yeah. we want light to come in. Um, and then we need a fill mode. And for this one, since we're going to be farming inside, I'm going to make it hollow. So we ready to see what, what chaos this causes? Yes. All right. Hit enter. All right. So I'm going to hit enter. enter. And we've got this giant cube. And we trapped a couple of fish in there that I feel very bad for. We got to let now, them out. We have to try and let them out. Although they're, they're totally in dry right now because the inside of that is filled with air. Uh, I can try and break the bricks. Oh, oh no. I, it's too late. We didn't late. save that poor. So we already have had an environmental impact. Let's On see if I can farm. save this one. I'm breaking underneath so that the water, oh, he's in, but we definitely let some water. Oh, you broke the side. But the I good news is that fishy I'm escaped. Here watching you. Oh, oh that, Sam I, did. It was out of panic. I didn't want another one to. Yeah, to we've got, we've got leaking in our, in our thing. Wait, so are, here's. Are you under? Yeah, we've got leaking. I'm inside. I went in up from the bottom. I can teleport close everyone the, in. Did you close the bottom already? Where's your? Opening? I have not. If not, there's a hole right oh, where you are. Well, yep, right. you're there. All right. Well, oh my gosh, it's so we dark need, in here. I know we need well, light. Earth. So I'm gonna go grab some sea lantern from the inventory, right, and we'll we'll put some lights up. That might be a good start because we can't even really clean up till we see what's going on here. I know. Okay, and then maybe what we can do is I'm gonna put sea lantern. Oops. I'm, I'm going for all the oh, corners there. for now. Okay. So I'm just putting it near the opening in the, uh, you know, where we, the entrance at the bottom. Oh, so that, that, that'll give them a way in. Come in. All right, so Kathy, we have to clean up the mess though. Yeah, well. What do we I recommend for see. mess cleaning? I still cannot and quite see. You Can cannot you? click see. No, 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 I cannot see. Oh, there it is. There it yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, you, what a mess. Yeah. Okay. So there are multiple ways to get rid of water. Swing what do you down. think we should do? Let's do the sponge because we don't really know where the source is. Okay. Yep. Let's get a sponge bob down. I see. I see Kate stuck under our our poor thing here, trying to get in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give <laughs> Kate an assist here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring her in automatically. All right, Kate, you're in. Thanks, Sam need an in. Nope, Sam is in. Oh, she's in. No, I, she's I have a feeling Sam under. is the one who broke her way in in the first place. Oh, but, you know. all right. So I'm going to start using a sponge to clean some of this up. All right, go for it. Oh, look at that. One sponge clean. One, one done. We have a whole other tower here of water, clean. though. Let me grab a sponge from you and help. Oh, here. I can't just sit here and watch people clean. I got to help. Oh, I threw it. It went to the bottom. Oh, wait. Wait, how do I boop you? How do you boop me? But didn't you say, Cute. oh, that's the sound effect? Right, so if you use Q, you'll drop an object and you can hand it to somebody. Oh, I thought that right. maybe there was a sound effect in the game. There is no actual boop sound effect. Oh, man. <laughs> I just say boop out loud when I do boop. it. All right, now All we right. get to clean up the sponge. Yeah, there's still water on the ground here, and I'm trying to find the source of that. Uh, we may have a hole somewhere we don't know about, because it's still coming. Oh, oh it's right. There. It's, um, yeah. Okay. Have there, you found I the hole? I got you something. did. I got something, and then there's more. I got something else. It's oh, still going. It's still more. What the oh, heck? Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. We are oh. clear. All right, so now we can get rid of the sponges, All provided right, there's no holes more behind them. Lantern because I can't see anything. Yeah, I was thinking, you know what? If you want to clean up the sponges, I'm just going to make like a whole top row of sea lanterns here. All right, I'll, I'll clean up the sponge. SpongeBob, bye bye. Well, this is SpongeBob, bye bye. We should have so since we're farming in here, right, um, we need all of the things that crops would need. Uh, and that included, uh, includes if we wanted to work in Minecraft. So that includes a uh, light. So these oh, light sources actually do that. work for that. You're using I'm sure that light would be. move. Oh, man. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add more. We're going to 
We're um, going to keep going with the sea lantern here. I am not right click moving. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, Kathy I is doing a perimeter at the bottom. That works. That makes total sense. I Thank you. I was. You have painted yourself in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to right click move. That's all. Yep. Our ceiling's a little drippy, but that might be good for our farm. All right. So while you're working on that, we are going to farm in here. So what else do we need? We're getting light. Kathy's working on light right now. We need we need some uh, soil. All right, so let's get some dirt. We're gonna press E to go into our inventory. Just and dirt? And we're gonna glass. search dirt. Just we're gonna dirt go for just dirt, just dirt, dirt. Okay. We can, uh, we can till it, but we're just gonna grab some dirt, dirt. And I'm gonna share some, hold on. Let me do this just to make this easier on myself so I can keep grabbing it. I'm, I'm having a deja okay. vu on the- I am going to give house. some dirt to people. You get some dirt. And you get some dirt. The role of Oprah. And you have a cookie for some reason. <laughs> You've taken a snack break. Okay. We've got a snack break. <laughs> you, need to, you need your energy. Thank you for That's the right. cookie. Thank you. Yeah, we can see well. All right. I'm going to tell. Wait, you know what I want to do, though? I think it would be helpful for me. Um, I need sleep. Are you going to label our crops? Well, I'm going to label the crops, but I also like to know um, distance. Like the last stream, uh, Adam was trying to put me in fertilizer jail because I was over fertilizing. Fertilizer and, jail. Yes. Well, you know what? I watched back the stream and, and I remember I was like, why is Adam putting all these blocks around me? And I kept breaking them. And then because he was trying to contain me and he didn't know that it's not possible. No, oh, no, no one can contain Kathy. <laughs> so I have this, Kathy, I have this idea for how we water this without actually adding water to our world. And I don't Ooh. know how well it'll work, but I want to try it and uh, okay. it could break everything. All right, I'm going to, oh, I'm throwing things. So I'm going to break this right here. Uh huh. What are you breaking? You're, looking the, are you? you're looking the other way. I know, I know. Gonna, I got to get closer. I want to see, see what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to break this sea lantern right here, and then I'm going to break that block and let the water in. And then I'll do that oh. on the other side. But does Minecraft care that this is salt water? It doesn't, as it turns out. So we're going to pretend that there's a filtration system. Okay. <laughs> or, or you know what? If you, you, we could build one also. Oops, I grabbed kelp. Students, if you're watching, you could totally build a filtration system and make you it. You can. That would be cool, right? And Kate, that's a great point. It would be cool. So now, what if, what if we I'm had- I'm gonna need some water. It's not coming in on this side. I'm just saying, what go. if we had a layer of water and we put the plants, the dirt on top? So put the, let the water in all the way around one layer? Well, a and whole then under, plant a on whole top under of it? system because the water just has to be touching the, like, well, okay, so I feel like I'm you know, we're always like, here's a row of dirt, and then here's some water, and then dirt, and then So you water. want to change it up? Well, sort of, but it's not. Uh, I'm necessary. here for that. I'm, I'm ready to change it up. Let's do it. All right, yeah, because I, I feel like then it always looks the same, and You're right. maybe it could be different. All right, so should we pull all this dirt up, and we're going to build it one layer higher? Why don't we throw Kate uh, a, a tool, but she's not catching it. Uh, no, she probably did. No, no, she probably did. Uh, she's got a block in her hand, so it's probably in her hot bar now, just in a different number. Yeah, I definitely No, yeah. I don't. Sorry, didn't catch it. Didn't. Didn't. <laughs> it's on the ground if you want. It's on the ground if you want it. Oh, I see it. Still gonna okay. let this water in because I feel like we're gonna use it, but yeah. we want to I change mean, up the soil. Doing it. I mean, I maybe um, for one of the other challenges we can keep just we keep can, this in the back of our minds. I, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, thank you. Gonna go ahead and agree with you. Uh, I definitely want to try other things. That's a given. So do I mean, not I'm forget not that one. Not trying to be critical. I was just no, like, no. Uh, I, I agree with you. My cat is screaming. My cat agrees with you as well. She uh, goes, hey, Penny. <laughs> I think that's Hazel, but that's okay. Oh, now everyone knows my cat's Hazel. name. <laughs> I told you about one of my students' cats, right? Yes. Stanley. Stanley joined us today in class. He's what? Here. Yes. I'm I got a jealous. Um, All right. So 
but yeah, you know, I was going to say, let's make a note of that, but we actually have it on recording. So we're not going to forget. No, we're going to do it next time. We're going to do a sub level. We're going to do a sub level of water irrigation, almost like a water table underneath uh, for the root system. How's that? That sounds perfect. Okay. I like it. I I super like it. All right. I have to get out for a second, not out, out, but just to get to my, my things. Oh, you want it to look like wavy? It looks cool. Yeah, I thought if we did it every other one, it gets a little wavy. I mean, we're under the ocean. I figure we might as well go with it. Although if if, okay. if Kathy starts to get seasick again, then we'll change it up. No, I'm good. You you helped me with that. That I really couldn't believe uh, that I was seasick. But I'm also not, I mean, I on the one hand, I was like, really? But then on the other hand, I'm not surprised. Kathy, what are you planting right there? Okay, I'm not planting anything. What I'm doing is- um, Oh, somebody's planting. Yeah, Sam is planting. Sam, what are you planting? Potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, I'm going to do, um, what do I have? I have beetroot. I'm going to do beetroot at the other side. We'll start there. But oh, I need the hope. I'm not being helpful right now. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. What are you doing? I'm, well, I'm doing. You're always helpful. I brought my agent in and I want, I have like a whole set of commands. The thing really got to Kathy. The same. And- she brought uh, her agent. <laughs> I'm talking to my agent. Are you coding? Yeah. That is, because, and you were saying you weren't helpful. Uh, well, I'm trying. I just got started. That's all. All right. Well, so, let me know if we want to share your screen uh, oh, so not, they can see yet. the code because I, no. okay. Well, I mean, no, not yet. No, no. I'm, I'm being shy here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then turn. I see you running code because I see it in the chat bar, but I don't know what the yeah. code's doing yet. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, left the code is doing nothing yet um okay i have to let my my coworker out before she gets really upset <laughs> oh she has changed she has changed her mind because of course she did oops oh turn turn right one okay there we go so now what i want to do is i want to i'm talking thinking out loud okay so i want to how do we enter and leave our garden? <laughs> that is a great question that we definitely did not consider. <laughs> well, we could do a code to say, oh, well, everyone would have to have the code because just because I have code doesn't mean you have code. That um, is also true. Um, I, I will find us a solution. I will, I will brainstorm that. I'm going to mm-hmm. come up with something, but it may cause leaks in the meantime. <laughs> well, you could teleport in and out. Right. We also could break the ground over here. I have an idea. How do we plant? We don't just grow the seeds. So um, carrots and potatoes, if you just have them, you can actually plant them. Right. You, they don't have seeds necessarily. You just plant like the raw form of them. I think I dropped some potatoes somewhere. But to drop them, we just press Q. <laughs> Or, or, no, or to place them. To place them, them yeah. you'll use your right click. So if you want to come over here, you'll use your hoe first and then right click on the dirt. Like this. There you go. We have oh. an exit now. Is that me? So can we talk about while we're building this, some of the positives and negatives of the real world applications of what we're doing? Because I feel like while, you know, we're not using as much land, which is always a concern. um, One, there's definitely power consumption that would be needed because we're providing additional light. But I feel like this has got to have other, like we talked about not harming the coral. We totally haven't harmed the coral, at least so far. Uh, but what are the well, other possible uh, implications of farming like this, right? We, Not, I don't we, see this in the real world much. So, if we didn't, t- if we weren't able to teleport in here, there'd also be some, probably some cranes, some tractors. I would guess as you set uh, items down on the seafloor, there'd be like sediment that might be placed here on the reef so that the construction, anytime you do construction on a coastline, there has to be like environmental assessment because you're 
you're kind of moving things around um, and that can that can bother the reef a little bit. Um, and then you wouldn't want any of this dirt or fertilizer or plants to leak. Well, you'd want to be careful that you didn't have them leak onto the reef. So no leaking, which we're, it looks like from our design, there's all sorts of leaking. So not to mention the leaking that we had when we first built it. This one feels very much like a magical bubble though. So And who doesn't want to live in a magical bubble? I do. Ooh, <laughs> absolutely. You know what this makes me and think Sam, of? that is awesome. I love that. What's Sam doing? She, she's adding vines to the top, <gasps> which will grow, by the way, but uh, it's got a good greenhouse effect thing, like a look to Ooh, it. So I kind of yeah, like I it. Tried, so it's I pretty. I took place them where they would grow down onto the crops because I think then it could prevent it from growing. True. Um, for mushrooms in minecraft or no not mushrooms is it nether warts or maybe it is mushrooms too they have yeah. to grow in low light so i guess in underwater areas well we've added well. light if we didn't add the external mm -hmm. light or you know the additional light sources it probably would grow here or we might have go we would maybe have to go a little deeper but it would grow underwater in the same way we just wouldn't need the light sources What happened to the agent? Oh, the agent is on the other side of the, um, whoops, potato, is on the other side of the garden. He, um, he, she, they placed some signs over here. So potato too. What, oh my goodness, one potato, two potato. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was that where we were going with this the whole time? No, I don't know. I just thought of it. I was like, oh, it's because I'm all right. So the thing that's important to me or uh, things that I need that are not necessary. Well, I guess sort of related to farming, sort of just related to myself. Um, I need to know how many things there are. So um, in terms of the blocks and all. And last time I, I I'm just not able to count a lot because I lose count in Minecraft. So I wanted to put down signs to be able to keep track of how many crops there are and what they are. So I think that it's just in life, it's a good idea to label things so you know what they are. It's a, it's but, a pretty good idea. Yeah. So, so that's where, so I was, I labeled the other side with beetroot and then this side um, is potato. And of course I was naming the signs potato two. <laughs> so then I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> two potato, three potato. So this side, the signs are a little different. Um, yeah, and I had the agent count for me. So um, I wrote a little bit of code to have the agent move 10 and place a sign and then move 10 and place a sign. So um, there are indeed 30, well, or 27 <laughs> plants in each row. Okay, and this is carrot. So let's sign this up. So the thing that um, the agents can place signs, but it can't write on them. Somebody mentioned an exit, so I'm working on that. Okay. Because I feel like that's mildly important. I made one, but it just takes us back on. Carrot. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, and then also, I guess, you know, one of the, oh, seeds. So if they're just seeds, what kind of plant is it? Just seeds. You know, Eric? Um, I think that's wheat. Wheat. Well, it says seeds. The plain old so seeds, I believe, are wheat. Are just wheat. Okay. Yeah, so, and then I guess in, in the corn belt, when you drive past the fields, there are often signs next to the crops. So I did wonder what that was all about. It's probably, I think it's the seed that you use. I believe that's the case. Right. I can't confirm that though. Okay, but so, you know, it's hard to, um, well, it's not a good idea to drive and try to Google things at the same time. So it's <laughs> nice to have a co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> 
So but then, just to go but then back, they complain that you're always asking them to look things up. Right. So to go back to the, the challenge here, right, we're building our example of uh, a farm, and that's exactly what we'll be uh, asking students to do for this first challenge. So in a little while, you know, we, we've got our farm sort of kind of maybe built-ish. We're not done, but we're working on it. But we want to talk about how to submit it. Uh, so we're going to cover that in just a little bit because I know that's probably something people are wondering. Uh, hopefully this doesn't leak. over here? What's Kate planting on the, oh, nothing yet. Oh, look at that. This melon is cool. I don't really, I'm having trouble with my right click. Every time I try to plant something, I accidentally dig a hole. Maybe it's your left click. Welcome, right. Welcome to the introduction to Minecraft. You and everyone else who's ever played it for the oh, first time. Two. You're not alone in that one at all, at all. I can, I can, um, I can contribute by telling you guys that uh, one of the most famous marine biologists, Sylvia Earle, actually lived in a little underwater habitat like this for two weeks. No she way. She did not build a farm. I did this but They were <laughs> testing out if humans could live like in these little capsules underwater, so they. Um, they got to live underwater and then sort of swim out and scuba dive around. And then every night they would sleep in this little underwater cabin. Um, that is very cool. So currently our exit needs flying because I didn't have time to build it more efficiently. <laughs> but and there we, is an just, exit now. We just got a question in the chat. Um, yeah. So what, what, what do we have to do with regular season? So regular season will be a downloadable Minecraft world that you will install um, or import, I think the word is for Minecraft education, but you'll mm -hmm. import that. And then each um, the, the Minecraft world has five different biomes and your objective is to build a farm in each of those biomes, accomplishing challenges and circumstances of bugs and weeds and um, yeah, some of the real life elements and decisions that go into developing food um, will be in the Minecraft world. And then we got a question about if folks can use redstone for their farms. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm not even going to sit here and discuss the maybe, maybe possibly. No, no, please, please use oh, redstone. Yeah. If, if you're good at redstone, we want to see it. So oh, yes. yes. I mean, this is a very manual farm, right? I mean, if you can create something that is automated and maybe even harvests the, the crops, uh, yeah. you should totally do it. Yeah, we are, 100%. We are, yes, we are redstone. I mean, I would say I'm a beginner. I'm not, I know how to use it, but I don't know. How I to. disagree. Well, oh, please, you're so kind. I am, uh, yeah. <laughs> But I need time too, right? And here we are live streaming. I need time and space to think it out. That makes sense. Yes, so, all right. So I wanted to see, Undersea Home, I just went to the Minecraft Wiki and I wanted to see what's making what's making me wonder. The, the drips from the top of the ceiling, I think that they're really cool and I wanna know if there's more to it. Did you know that underwater homes are immune to explosions and most mobs have difficulty attacking it? There's a direct quote from the Minecraft wiki. And the base can have access- I have to dug myself into a corner. I have to build another elevator. I'm just gonna sneak back in because we're gonna have to switch over to the flip grid in just a second. Okay. Let's see if I can oh, find no, places. Look, look, look. You know what? I'm just gonna teleport myself back in. Why am, why am I fighting this? So in Bedrock Edition, all blocks are subject to water logging, meaning there are no blocks you can use to displace water source blocks to create an air space. Oh. To make you an get air drips. pocket. All right. oh, I you just, get drips. Yeah, I just, well, I was so curious about that. So what, yep. like it won't, hopefully it doesn't fall in, right? Mm -hmm. Because at aquariums, um, the glass has to be really thick to be able to withstand all the water pressure. Yeah. So what do you, what, what do you think? Should we, uh, Sam, is now a good time to dig into the flip grid and how to submit? Or are we there? 
nodding. Okay. I'm going to go with the nodding. Ah. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to pull the Flipgrid page up over here. And again, if you uh, pre-registered and you got the email, um, you got the link directly to this Flipgrid. And when you go to that link, you're going to see exactly what you see right here. Uh, you'll know you're in the right place because you'll see Sam's name and Kathy's name and my name at the top and a giant NASA Farmcraft logo, which is kind of a giveaway as well. Um, but this is the right place. Uh, and as we release, you can read kind of some information on the preseason challenges. You can watch the trailer again right over here. You'll see that this is Topic Frozen. This is just our cover page. Down here is where you're going to see the links for each challenge. Or if you're familiar with Flipgrid, and sometimes people don't see this, it says View to Topics up here under this bar. And if I click there, I can see that Preseason Challenge 1, which this is today's date, has gone live. So if I go to Preseason Challenge 1, You'll see the page changed up a little bit, and I've got a picture of a farm over here. And this is actually the farm that we did on the last stream. Um, but uh, you'll see the preseason challenge. So I'm going to read it because I want to make sure we're giving all the details. So using Minecraft education, work with your teammates to create a basic farm, right? We've created ours. Uh, consider your, uh, the resources you need to harvest, uh, blocks you need to place, and the tricks you can use to create a farm that is efficient and productive. Someone mentioned redstone. Yeah, if you can automate it with redstone, that's pretty efficient and productive. In your diary, so if you're familiar with Minecraft Education, you'll know that in Minecraft Education Edition, uh, there is a book and quill tool where you can write. You can use a camera tool to take in-game photos and add them to your book if you wanted to. Um, you can use all those tools or, again, in your recording, you can kind of give an oral diary if you want uh, explanation. Uh, you're going to answer these following questions. So we're going to kind of walk you through this. Uh, in your team, what were the different roles and tasks each member took care of? So if you've got a team of three people, what did everybody do, right? Did one person build the farm while everyone else just nodded? Or did people come in with ideas, share experience, right? You could argue, oh, Kathy was doing a lot of the building or Sam was adding the vines and that was beautiful. Uh, but Kate was giving us a lot of the insight and information uh, that to be honest, could have really improved our build. And that's a huge skill for a team to have, like massive. I talk about this all the time with esports or anything else. Not everyone is the game player. There need to be people who can evaluate, have good ideas, who can market, who can produce, who can be part of that team in so many other ways. And I know that's something that NASA promotes. Sam is nodding her head, so I've got you. Uh, but yeah, so all of those things are factors, right? Not every team person has to be Minecraft expert. People mention, can we use Redstone? Well, maybe you're proficient in Redstone and your teammate isn't, but your teammate may have some really great ideas on how to use it, right? What we could automate. Uh, and that is part of their role on the team. So just because they didn't build as much uh, doesn't mean they had no role. Share what they did, right? Even if it was giving ideas, because that's a huge part of it. Um, how did you all work together to create one farm? Uh, why did your team design, design the farm this way, right? Why did we design our farm underwater? <laughs> we thought it would be kind of <laughs> cool. Plus, it got to pull Kate's experience scientifically into the mix, which was, you know, awesome. Um, why were the different resources and factors you had to consider when, or what were the different resources and factors you had to consider when creating your farm? We had a lot of discussion around that. Um, how would you upgrade this farm in the future? And what are some ways you could change the farm to produce more, right? We could go with those dimensions Kathy first mentioned and make it huge, which maybe we should have done in retrospect. Oh, it's all good. It's all good right now. Okay. All right. So all of those uh, are ideas that we have to ta uh, tackle in our recording or in our submission. I am going to demonstrate how to submit right now because you'll notice there's a button down here that says record a response. There's also this huge record a button and you'll see that right now it has zero responses. That's not actually accurate. Even as responses come in, you won't see them. We are going to, we do moderate those responses and we only publish them after uh, we announce the winners. So when you join us for the next live stream, all of those will be published for you to go and watch so you can watch other submissions and things like that. And we'll be sharing some of them on the live stream. Uh, but when you submit, and I'll show you this, you won't see your submission here. You'll just see a, a notice that your submission has been received and is waiting for review. So let's do this. I'm going to have to turn off my camera in the call because I want to make my camera active in uh, Flipgrid. So I'm going to stop my video here, and I'm going to click record a response. Now, here's the cool part. Uh, Kathy, you're on the call. Sam, you're on the call. Kate, you're on the call. Uh, 
Flipgrid is going to record everything on my screen, including the audio, which means if we wanted to have a group conversation or take a tour and Kate's character was walking us through a part of a world giving an explanation, and then Kathy's character is walking through the world giving a part of the explanation, or Sam is going to be our host like she is here and say, hi, I'd like to introduce you to the people who built our farm, right? You can do that uh, in game and record it that way, even using the tools that Flipgrid has, which is great. So I could click here and record my face, which you know is fine. I shaved today, so I look pretty good. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to click Options, and I'm going to choose Record Screen, which you can see right here. Now, you'll notice I can also choose Mic Only. So if I didn't want the video on there, I could do that. But if I choose Record Screen, and I start, uh, click this button here that says Start Screen Recording, I can choose my application window, in this case, Minecraft. And you'll notice now I have my camera in the bottom right-hand corner. I have this little bar in the center that says Flipgrid is sharing to a window. So technically it's recording right now. Uh, so all of this nonsense that I'm saying right now is on the recording. But I could resume this and I could give you a voiceover tour of the world and say, here's what we built. So we decided to build a farm underwater. Here's why we decided to build our farm underwater. Here's why this is a good and bad idea. Here's what we would consider doing next. Um, Sam did a really great job of adding the vines and planting seeds. Uh, Kathy had some really great ideas about how to utilize the water in our world and even did some coding. Uh, Kate provided us with tons of insight on how to make this better or maybe more uh, ecologically friendly. Um, so we really kind of pulled all together and used all of our great skills to build this farm. When right. done, I just want to say something. Oh no, Kathy, say I, it on the recording. Go for I it. I want to say it on the recording. That's all. I want oh, to say okay. great job, everyone. <laughs> So I am now going to hit escape and pause my game and click this stop sharing button. And again, I'm still recording. The bottom right hand corner. And you could probably I hear have it. this little bar in the center. But I can now review says, my video. Is sharing to a window. So technically it's recording right now. Uh, so all of this nonsense that I'm saying right now is on the recording. But I can resume this and I could give you a voiceover tour of the world and say, here's what we built. So we decided to build a farm underwater. Here's why we're not we going to listen to me talk all over again, but we oh, want to hear Kathy. Story. I want to hear myself. So I am now going to hit escape and pause my game and click this stop sharing button. And go, again, back, go back. Oh, I, I, I didn't go back seconds. far enough. I oh. have this little bar in the center Hold that on. says Flipgrid is sharing to a oh, now, now it's I... recording right now. All right, let's try that uh, one more so time. I... Kathy's dying to hear oh, okay. herself. <laughs> all right, here. When I'm done. Oh, no, Kathy, say it on the recording. Go for it. Oh, you know why it didn't show up? Because I didn't have Zoom on oh. the same screen. <laughs> oh, it's only oh, sharing what's oh, on right, this right. screen. That's okay. I was sharing. I was only sharing the game and not my screen. But if you share a screen, mm -hmm. it will it'll capture all of it. Uh, I, I've had some students that submit that way and do like a tour together with voiceovers. It's great. Now, even if you didn't want to use the in-game tools, when I clicked that option, you could make your video in advance if you like to add cool edits and things like that to make your videos fancier, or if you want to pre-record it so it looks good and then submit it. There is an upload video option, so you don't have to record using the Flipgrid tools. You can just upload it right into uh, here, which is great. Um, so I'm going to hit confirm. The bottom right-hand corner. And next, because we already heard this. Oh, so uh, there you'll see was... display name. Right, so here's display name. My recommendation for this is change this to your team name, right? So if our team, Kathy, what's the name of our team? Our team is the Fantastic Farmers. Why did you have to make it long? Oh, well, I had to do the alliteration. Thing. I'm joking with you anyway. <laughs> so you can put the Fantastic Farmers. If there's a link to any like resource that you used to design your farm, you could put that link there if you'd like to share it with us. It, you have 100 characters here if you want to add any brief description, maybe if you want to put the members of your team or any information you'd like us to know about your build. You can put in a brief description. Uh, you can take a selfie and there's filters for that or upload a team photo. Like if you have a logo for your esports club or something and you want to use that, you can upload that photo. I'm not going to upload. You can also select a frame of your video if you want that to be uh, you know, the thing. I'm going to do this one where Sam is on screen. And I'm going to click Submit. And it's going to be uploading my video. And it's uploading. And we're going to watch it upload. This is the exciting part. It is so exciting. Who doesn't like to watch a load screen? 
but it's important to watch it because you want to make sure it goes through before you leave the page. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, you'll see <gasps> all these fireworks, the fireworks and it says success, right? So you know you've done it. Now, if you want to download the video you made, you could. If you want to download that cover image that you used, you can. If you want to create a QR code or copy this link so you can share with friends, relatives, your class, whomever, uh, so your they can teacher. see your submission. Because remember, your submission is going to stay hidden uh, until we've reviewed it. But if you want to share it with others, you can do that directly without having to wait. Uh, but they would need the link to do it. All right, so I'm going to hit done. And I want you to notice that even though my video doesn't show up here, it does say video submitted, right? And you see a little party guy. We got a little party emoji there. So I know <laughs> that my video has gone through. Okay, so that is how you submit. Uh, and I did want to share one time real quick, the other options. So if I click options here, you'll notice right here is upload a clip. So if I have a file of a video that I made beforehand of my world, and maybe I wanted to do some cool editing or add some music or whatever I wanted to do to make it really, you know, jazz it up a little bit, uh, you could upload it here uh, and, and record it first and then upload it here without going through all those steps. Okay, and that is it for how to submit. And of course, uh, every week or every two weeks, I should say, uh, back on this page, you will see the next preseason challenge go live. You will see the next challenge available under the topic dropdown, and you'll submit the same way once those challenges have been announced. And I am going to turn back on my camera because everyone wants to see my face. Everyone, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> so this first preseason yeah. challenge is due on Friday, February 26th at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, et cetera, et cetera many time zones um, that we can swap it up to. So um, Friday, February 26th is that key date deadline for this first preseason challenge. But preseason is not required to participate in the regular season challenges when we unveil the official Farmcraft world that, that'll be ready for download. So really, we just want to make sure that everyone's practicing their farming skills, learning some new things. Like I totally didn't realize how easy it would be to build a farm underwater in Minecraft. But truly, that was really super easy to get started. So um, learning new things, um, practicing how to work with your teammates as well, um, who's good at what and what roles everyone plays. Um, and then we will be back on Wednesday, March 3rd for our next stream um, where we will have preseason challenge number two. And that'll, I think that carries us through today's stream. Is there anything for my lovely co-hosts and guests, um, anything else that you would like to shout out? Oh, and we also I, have the- I wanna thank Kate for joining us. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Sam. But oh, I want to no, no. thank Kate for joining us. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for letting me tag along. This program. No, no. Thank you for the science lesson. Greatly oh, yeah. appreciated. Thank you for the science, Kate. Thank you for the Minecraft lesson. We'll call it a draw. Yeah. <laughs> and we we did want to also help promote another uh, U.S. Department of State event that's happening, and it's empowering youth for water security. And so that'll be on February 23rd, which is Tuesday, I believe, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. And their Twitter is twitter.com slash diplomacy. I put the I put the link in the chat. Oh, perfect. And the link is in the chat. Sci Diplomacy USA on Twitter um, is also a great place to check out if you do want to check out their Empowering Youth for Water Security event. So thanks everyone for joining us for this week. And thank you to Damien from USA Esports for running our stream for us today. And we'll talk to everyone really soon.